So we do a lot of CNC heads here. And uh, so we digitize, we hand port something, we digitize it, and then we CNC it. And we have a lot of, um, we have a lot of blending to do afterward. Now, not everybody does the blending. That is something that we do because, well, we like to go the extra mile. There's less competition in the extra mile. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about, you see all the areas that the cylinder head was not hit by with the CNC? So every port, is just a little bit different. Now we see that in a lot of different cylinder heads. Some are worse than others. 2JZs happen to be the, like the worst. And then we put a lot of holes in the 4Gs. The Hondas are a mixed bag. So if you found that if I handed you a hand ported head and it was halfway done like that, would you be upset? Why is it so socially acceptable when it's done by a machine? Because people think it's more accurate, but it's more accurate and an inaccurate part. Let me show you what we do. Let's take the Makita grinder and we have a double cut burr. I use a double cut burr. Sometimes I use our half inch super spiral burr and we blend everything in. I blend everything in because some of this is a hard, a hard stop. So it, it doesn't really blend very nicely. So we go in here and blend it. So now you can see where I blended it. Now we're not making it any real bigger. We are just making it better. And when I say that, I mean like all here and over here, there was a lot of hard stops and there was, um, there was like bumps here. So we just blended all that in and now it's ready to rock. Now you'll notice that I didn't sand it and I don't sand it because surface finish doesn't mean a whole bunch in this situation. Now it also, at that point, I might as well hand pour it if I'm gonna sand the whole thing. This way, we just blend it in. We make sure that there's no hard stops and everything feels nice and smooth, but we're not gonna hand sand it. We're already doing more than most do. Most people, most shops just leave that there. And it doesn't matter, the hard stops, it doesn't matter if it needs, like there's little pieces of metal inside there or the divider, most people don't care. Now this is the before, you can see all three, four ports. And now here's the after, all blended in, took a couple minutes. I don't understand why people don't do this, but they don't do it, they don't care, just a couple minutes. You see the metal in the guide hole, all that stuff, if you want to put a guide in it, the problem there is it will actually break off or it's gonna be, um, You'll have like little metal pieces around the valve guide that you'll never be able to get off once they're installed. I'll show you how I take them out. 120 grit cartridge roll 3 8 on the Clico grinder. And I just go in there and deburr it. So you guys can really see it from this angle, this metal here. This is what I'm talking about. All this metal, a lot of guys just leave it. They see and see it. And then they throw guides in it. And this metal is around your valve guide and you don't really take notice to it. At least I noticed that a lot of people don't. You can see it just chips right off. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna beat me up and say, man, you could do that on the CNC machine. You can just program it. But how many CNC shops you ever see in a production style situation are gonna go through and pick one port, put another program in it, run the machine in that one port again. It just doesn't happen. And in the deburring situation, 
Again, most people are not going to do that because it's a production base. If they have to deburr it, or A, they don't have the talent, or B, they just don't have the time or want to take the time, um, you just don't see that. So a lot of people think that because you're putting your cylinder head in a CNC, that because the CNC is accurate, that it's going to accurately port your cylinder head. Uh, and that's true to a point, but we're dealing with an inaccurate part because the casting, the castings move all over the place. Um, that's why they have what's called core shift. And that means that the whole core moved in the, when they were making it. So now the port's not really where it is, or it's where it is, it's not where it's supposed to be. And the machine is dumb. It doesn't know where it's supposed to be. And that's why a hand port, you see them all uniform and you don't always see that in a CNC port. So that's why we blend. That's it for me today. Please like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I know I'm probably gonna get beat up on this one. Toodles.